In this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see how to handle faults in Apigee Edge using fault rules. Let's say whenever a request comes to Apigee Edge and if any fault occurs in Apigee Edge due to policies like Coda getting exhausted, none of the policies after that Coda policy will get executed and immediately it goes into error flow. In error flow, you can able to attach policies in fault rules and you can able to modify the behavior of the API. Similarly, whenever a fault occurs in the backend system and backend is throwing some error, then none of the policies in the response flow will get executed. Instead, you can able to handle the faults in the fault rules and attach the policies in the error flow to modify the behavior of the API. Let's create a simple API proxy to demonstrate same. Click on API proxies. Click on press proxy button to create a simple API proxy. Use reverse proxy and then click on next. Give the proxy name as uh, fault rules demo one and then give the proxy base path as slash v1 slash fr icon mock one and give the existing API as HTTP builder arc. Click on next, choose authorization as pass through. Click on next, choose defaults, build and deploy. Access the API overview screen to access the proxy endpoint. What we're going to do is we're going to add a simple quota policy and uh, see how to change the default quota policy fault message whenever quota gets existed. Click on preflow, click on plus step and then choose quota. Click on add and then change the quota policy. I'm going to say quota as uh, five calls per minute. So I'm going to change allow count to five, one per minute and remove asynchronous configuration and start time and change uh, distributed to true and synchronized to true and save the API proxy. So I'm going to click on trace, click on start trace session. So let's make some API calls quickly within a minute. We should be doing five API calls. So first one, second one, as you can see this particular error message, you want to customize it. You don't want to give a rate limit quota violation and then policies rate limit quota violation and all these details. It has to be very simple message to the developer. So you would like to change this error message before it is sent to the client. Let's see how to do that using fault. Go back to the overview screen, then we're going to attach some fault rules and policies to change uh, this particular custom error message. So what we're going to do is click on proxy endpoints default. As you can see by default fault rules are empty. So we're going to create a fault rule to handle this fault quota violation. So I'm going to update the XML to attach the fault rules. So let's add a fault rule for uh, quota violation. So I'm going to say fault rule name is equal to quota uh, error message and then close the fault rule and we are going to define the condition to execute this fault rule otherwise by default it will get executed. So the condition for uh, this particular fault rule is whenever quota violation fault happens. So this particular variable fault.name will be set by the quota policy whenever quota violation happens. So we are leveraging this particular variable to execute the fault rule. So once the fault rule has been created, we have to attach some policies so that we can execute these policies whenever this fault happens. So to do that, we're going to add a simple assign message policy to modify the response whenever this fault happens. So I'm going to click on plus on top of policies and add assign message policy. So I'm going to name it as uh, AM quota error messages and then click on add. Remove everything uh, except uh, the set payload, right? So because we would like to set the custom payload and change uh, the type to response and then set the payload up. error message and then saying that quota exhausted and then let's say reference error reference. Once you added the SMSS policy, we have to attach this SMSS policy in the fault rule. We are going to do that using step. So let's add that. So we're going to specify the policy using name. So the policy name is AM quota RMSS. And then save the API proxy to see it in action. Let's make an API calls quickly, more than five in a minute, then you should see customized error message. There you go. As you can see, we no longer see the default uh, fault message from Apigee. We have the custom message which has been coming from assign message policy that is handled using fault rules in Apigee Edge. Thank you for watching this video. Share this video with your colleagues and friends and subscribe to the YouTube channel.